are here with Team Sue, and thank you very much for agreeing to answer my five super yes, easy questions that you've answered a million times. Um, question number one is, oh, and Team Sue, you, you may not know this, but you have, um, are the creator of the Jellyby series, which is one of my all-time favorites. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so, just to give you a quick introduction. So, the first question is, you can tell I'm getting punchy. The first question is, how did you get started working in comics? Uh, I actually, well, uh, I actually started as uh, an electrical engineer. I went to school and trained, and I started working as an electrical engineer. And um, I sort of really got sick of my job. And uh, I've been drawing comics. I've been drawing since I was a kid. And uh, but I started drawing comics when I saw things on the web, and people were just throwing up comics, and uh, they're free. And I was like, well. I can try. I can do this. So uh, I just started drawing my little comic, and uh, it was a really great learning experience for me. So that's when I basically got my feet wet, and then uh, I started drawing Jellybee, um, sort of as a response to, well, there's not enough kids comics out there right now, and I, I was throwing that to the web, and then that's when my publisher contacted me, and um, the ball got rolling from there. So. Well, and you were part of the Flight team also, weren't you? Yes, uh, the Flight Anthology, uh, which is now the eighth book is coming out in June. Um, and it's going to be our last, our last volume. So, um, but yeah, and I got, I, I got to know them through uh, web comics as well. I knew uh, Kazu Kibuishi. Uh, I read his comics and I loved them. And then uh, Scott McCloud sort of hooked us up and uh, just basically sent our emails to each other. And then we got to talking and uh, we picked it up from there. That sounds great. All right, question number two. Okay. Is did you read comics when you were a kid? And if so, what were some of your influences back then? Um, yeah, I definitely. I I grew up in Hong Kong, so I had a very interesting access to a lot of different kinds of comics. So uh, some of the first comics I read were the English translated Asterix comics, yes. and uh, at the same time I was also getting a lot of um, translated manga in Chinese. So I was reading uh, the very early Dragon Ball series as it was being translated in Chinese, which was a lot of fun. Um, and things like Slam Dunk. Um, uh -huh. And then, uh, and then there was there were very few uh, North American comics, to be honest. Uh, but Calvin and Hobbes, the, the newspaper strip, that was like one of my all-time favorites. So I think a lot of that informed what I do now, because uh, I still go back to them, and uh, they're they're very uh, early touch for me. So. All right, question number three is: What are you currently working on? Um, I'm currently working on a boy's adventure book. Um, it's gonna be. It's, it features time travel, and uh, it's got a talking octopus in it. And there's gonna be basically all the things I didn't get to draw in Jellyby, which were basically all I drew in Jellyby were monsters. Um, so this book um, has everything else that I didn't get to draw. So it's got robots, it's got ray guns, it's got car chases. So hopefully it's gonna be a fun little uh, adventure for uh, for kids that are gonna get into that. Fantastic. Yeah. The next question is. What graphic novels or, or comics that you've read in the past year would you recommend for kids? For kids in the past year, uh, Zeta the Space Girl yeah. just came out. Um, that's one of my all-time favorites. Uh, ben, and Ben Hack, he's a great guy. I love him. Uh, he actually does, um, I'm not sure if anyone knows this, but he does uh, sort of circus acts. He does tumbling, like he breathes fire and he, uh, he like jumps through flaming hoops and all sorts of things. But his book is fantastic. I love, I love Zeta the Space Girl. Um, and I think Anya's Ghost is coming out yeah. uh, this summer. Um, I managed to read an early copy of that, and it's amazing. Me too. It's an amazing, it's amazing book. I love it. So uh, yeah, and that's by Vera Broskel, and that's yeah. gonna be that's gonna be a big that's gonna be a big book. I, think. I agree. Yeah. The last question for you is: if this is the librarian one, okay. If you were stuck <laughs> on a <laughs> if you were stuck on a desert island. Um, and you could only bring one book with you, and it doesn't have to be comics, it can be prose if you prefer. What would that book be? Oh, that would be a tough one. Um, I would say, can I give you sort of a, a two answer? If, sure. If, if, if it would be comics, it would definitely be the complete Calvin and Hobbes, like the big. I could, and plus, I could, also, I could also use that to kill small animals yes, and, and eat them <laughs> to survive on the island. But um, I think for prose, I would probably pick uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, yeah. I love, I've, I've gone through, I think, about five copies in my lifetime. Yeah. I've just given them out to people, and they never return them. No. So I just buy more and more copies. So uh, I'm actually, I, I don't have a copy of Hitchhikers. I don't currently own one at the moment, but um, yes. 
Yeah, I love that book. Perfect. Love that book. Well, you seem like a guy who knows where his towel is. So. <laughs> yes, all the yes, time. Yes, all the time. I'm, I, I would like to hope that I'm a poopy fruit. So. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with me. I really appreciate it. It was a pleasure to meet you. Great. It was a pleasure meeting you too.